we practice at home. So we practice within our own units and then um, we get really good at that. Then what we're doing here is this is kind of simulated going to war. F-35A Lightning II jets from the 419th Fighter Wing touched down in Savannah, Georgia to participate in the Air National Guard's largest exercise. Century Savannah, this is an exercise that's put on by the Air National Guard here at the Combat Readiness Training Center, or CRTC. In Exercise Century Savannah, units from active duty, reserve, and Air National Guard will take to the skies with a multitude of different aircraft as they practice and employ air dominance. With the F-22s, F-16s, uh, F-15s that are playing also in this exercise, uh, we all get together and then we go out and train over the water uh, and, and train into that air dominance role. While the 419th Fighter Wing is training in Savannah, their active duty counterpart, the 388th Fighter Wing, is participating in an exercise simulating a combat deployment at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. We are augmenting the same combat movement by moving the 419th out to Savannah so we can operate out of two bases and make sure that we have the proper footprint when it comes to maintenance, support, as well as the aircraft and the pilots available to exercise that type of deployment. The concept behind operating at two different bases is the foundation of ACE, or Agile Combat Employment, which the 419th is looking to validate as a deployment method during their time in Savannah. We're practicing moving that footprint to include maintenance, to include uh, all the support assets, not just the aircraft and the pilots, but uh, the whole enterprise moving uh, and deploying. The culmination of this effort allows the 419th to take on a unique type of training, low-level, high-speed flying over a vast body of water. Because it's such a large airspace, we're actually able to practice some of our more advanced tactics. So there's some things we get back home that we can't do here too. So having the flexibility um, for us to move around the country and train in different locations is, is, is extremely important for us. The Reserve 419th Fighter Wing and Active Duty 388th Fighter Wing fly and maintain the fleet in a total force partnership that capitalizes on the strengths of both components. Together, they are the Air Force's first combat capable units to fly and deploy the F-35. I can't overemphasize that enough is how important it is for not only the 419 fighter wing or the reserve fighter wing that we're in right now, but the F-35 Enterprise in general. Extremely important for us to prove our ACE capability because that is the fight of the future.